Hello again. We are currently at a place called Alcoy. It's snowing near Bohol, which is what we're going to talk about today. We were going to do this vlog for the treehouse, um, but we just were having too much fun that we forgot to do it. Really sorry. But this is a beautiful B&B room, so hopefully yeah. this will do. <laughs> mm. uh, so. so when we got to Bohol, um, we were staying in a treehouse and uh, as we approached the treehouse, it was down on the dirt track. A two kilometre dirt track. <laughs> But when we got there, uh, the all of the tree houses like lit up and it was really pretty. Yeah. Uh, so there's like three tree houses and then like uh, one big one where the owners lived in like the living area. Um, so yeah, that was different. Like living with the wildlife, we had like a water buffalo behind us and uh, we were living with the ants, the mosquitoes. Well, we weren't <laughs> li living with them, but we had ants passing through and occasionally you'd have like bees flying through. We had a mosquito net over our bed, yeah, so, we, so were we, weren't, we weren't bothered at night. In the day when we were just getting changed or whatever, you did occasionally see the other like, your creature. We even had like um, a gecko that we didn't actually see on our trip, <laughs> but it kept leaving a deposit on our bed yeah. every time we it came home. It was actually not in our room whilst we were there. Yeah, eating all the ants, so <laughs> <laughs> that was quite interesting, wasn't it? For our first excursion whilst we were there, we did a stand-up paddleboard. Um, well, we say stand up, but, but we do manage that. <laughs> Couldn't keep our balance. I fell in straight away, um, and then Tom was a bit wobbly, weren't you? So we both just did it sitting. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we were going to like go and watch the sunset, but I think the way, the the position of where it's set, we actually it wasn't possible. Yeah, there was there was no beautiful sky um, this on this night we went, but uh, we um, we paddled down for an hour one way, and then paddled back another hour the other way and a bit further to go and see fireflies, fireflies. which was really cool. Yeah. I mean it was a windy night but there were still the trees and our guide went and grabbed a couple and, and put them in our hands and yeah, it was just... Yeah, held one! <laughs> so it was pitch black at this point on these paddle boards and these flies were the only source of light in the area. It was really, really just bizarre. <laughs> so that was that. Um, Next day we... We ventured off to the Chocolate Hills. Yeah, we, we um, hired mopeds. Yeah. Um, and we were set off to go meet Danny and Faith, who we met back in uh, Malapasco. Yeah, it was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, like, um, we, that was the main reason we went to Bohol, because we, we really wanted to go and see the Chocolate Hills. Mm -hmm. um, we had a screensaver on, on our computers of the Chocolate Hills, and now that we've been, we've got a room picture. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty cool. But, and then um, on the way to Chocolate Hills as well, we stopped off at uh, the Tazi Sanctuary. Yeah. It is a bit touristy and you wonder whether these little monkeys, these little tidy monkeys are positioned so the tourists can be right close to them. But they were so but cute. They are they so cute. Tiny. And, yeah, I'm sure they're being fed and looked after so you know, we didn't feel terrible about going there did we? Yeah. But it was it was really nice to see them up close and um, I think they were sleeping because they were all just clinging to the trees like half asleep. Yeah, it's a bedtime. Yeah, they've got massive eyes. You'll see in the footage, but they're, they're beautiful little things, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Coming back from the Chocolate Hills, we decided to stop in and do a zip line. A 1.2 kilometre zip line, uh, recommended by a good friend of mine, uh, Michael Hearn. Hearn, he travels on Instagram. Top man. It was good, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. It was really good. It was, yeah, a bit scary. But we high. Yeah. But um, we flew out over the Lobok River. Yeah some cracking views, uh, filmed a bit on the GoPro. So yeah, that's the zip line. Yeah, yeah. And then the last day then we spent chasing waterfalls, literally. Yeah, so there was another Portuguese couple uh, that were in one of the tree houses, uh, Rita and Andre. Um, Hi guys, if you're watching. <laughs> and our B B BB owner um, recommended these waterfalls uh, not so far from where we were staying. Yeah, a place called Dimiao about an hour away on the moped. Um, so we set off didn't we? Yeah. And it was a lot of like winding roads and we missed a few turnings, we had to keep turning around. We were literally like just exploring weren't we? Yeah. But it was really interesting and we found some other falls on the way and we went swimming in those. Yeah, and we were the only people there. Yeah. Like, so we went on a Sunday and Sunday was meant to be the busiest day in Philippines. It's like a holiday. And everyone's everyone off work. work. Yeah. So, um, but we were the only ones there, yeah. so it was really special. Yeah. Um, but on the drive, uh, on the way back, 
Uh, we went through um, like round round things, wasn't it? And all the people, the pinos were like just shouting at us, like so excited to see us. Yeah, it was like we were the royal family or something. Everyone was like, hey, like cheering and kids running with us, high fiving us. One of the pulled war off the moped as we were driving. <laughs> I like, just. It was just bizarre, they're so happy to see you, they weren't bothering you in any other way, no, were they? No, no, they were so, uh, uh, they were really, really friendly. So the waterfalls was a really good idea and we're so glad that our b, &B owner from our treehouse recommended this to us because we were going to just have a beach day originally, yeah. but we decided to go with the, the waterfall option and it was so worth it, it was really, really good. Yeah, so, so that kind of, yeah, so that's a quick recap of what yeah. happened in Ball Hall. Um, we're in Alcoa at the moment um, and we're going down to Oslo, but we'll show you more of that um, in the next video. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, Goodbye. cheers, <laughs> see you later.